What's up guys? Welcome to another build video for the Stam Warden in no CP PvP. I've been playing it a good bit lately and uh, I released a few builds already. One that I think will be great for next patch called the Butcher which will uh, use a lot of AoE but primarily use the two-handed Master's Maul um, to deliver an updated carve. I also gave a two-handed dual wield build called Cutting Subs that I enjoy but can be a little bit slow and daunting if you're not a big fan of Dizzy Swing. So today I want to bring you the build that I'm playing the most on the Stam Warden. I really think it's kind of just a very good all-around well-done build. It's called Vanilla. And diving in really quickly to what we have in the build can see I'm still a red guard 64 point stamina I'm using the warrior Mundus dubious Cameron throne why why dubious Cameron throne it is very important it is because on the body I am running bone pirate requires a drink to be active so I'm gonna have three pieces of bone pirate then I'm gonna have two rings that are bone pirate all of my rings are gold, infused, weapon damage for 278 weapon damage. I'm also going to run Shackle Breaker that you can craft and therefore get a heavy chest and a light belt. And, a, and by doing so, I'm able to run 5-1-1 with two-piece blood spawn as the monster set. All medium except for the belt and the chest. Front bar, Shackle Breaker Maul, Nerd Honed with a Weapon Damage Enchant. And back bar, Sword and Board Shackle Breaker with Defending Sword and a Tri-Stat Impenetrable Shield. And I do run the Damage Health Poison because when I do the one damage ability on the back bar, which is going to be Reverb, this will apply. So why do I like this very well-rounded build? Obviously the stats are phenomenal by running both sets. So taking a look really quick, when I am buffed up with Bull Netch, okay, and then um, I'm on the front bar, I'm sitting at 4,149 damage, and when I actually proc the weapon damage enchant, 4,600 damage. So you don't have to do anything to get this damage. There's no proccing of Veiled Inheritance. There's no proccing of Seventh Legion. There's no proccing of um, Fury or, or what, Ravaging. Like you are at 4,600 damage a lot. On top of that, our build on the front bar I absolutely love. It uses Cutting Dive, which is a great ranged spammable ability that's cheap. And it also can be used up close. It hits ridiculously hard. At 12,500 damage, you compare that to a Dizzy Swing, 17,000, you're very close. You're 5k off of that. And this is a spammable, insta-cast, you know, light attack damage that just goes 28 meters away. On top of that, because it's from... The animal companion line it gives you that animal companion advanced species passive bonus of three percent more damage we've got our execute in reverse slice i love that you could go executioner as well but i really do like reverse slice we've got bull nets for major brutality as well as some recovery sub assault another animal companion ability that hits like a truck and lastly bird of prey it gives you Minor Berserk, 8% plus 3% because it's an Animal Companion ability. And then also I do use it occasionally as kind of a gap closer. You know, you're going to have decent Magicka, so you're going to be able to use that to kind of close the gap. Our ultimate is Dawnbreaker of Smiting. Our pot is Essence of Immovability. That is the front bar. And again, I really love it because, boom, I'm at 4,600 damage pretty much all the time. On the back bar, where we have a defending shackle breaker sword and board, remember we also have the double damage poison. And I do that because, as you can see right there, I just applied it by doing my one ability, which is reverb. That gives me a stun on the target. It also applies major defile. 
Icy Fortress because major pro uh, minor protection, 8% reduction in damage along with your armor buff. Shimmering Shield for ulti gen that combined with the Blood Spawn ulti gen allows you to get to either your Healing Thicket or your Dawnbreaker that much faster. Shuffle for major evasion and your Root Snare immunity. And finally Vigor. I really think this is a very well-rounded build. It doesn't have a whole lot of procs. It's got great stats. It, it, it just it does a lot of things well. And so I find myself gravitating towards this build most of the time. If I have healers and I feel pretty confident of the healers in my in my battleground, I will run the butcher because that butcher um, setup with AOE major defile and the carve is going to be really nice and it's going to get even better. Um, you could also run the AOE BG machine, which is your classic spend to win um, and go even more damage. But for me, the overall way to go, Bone Pirate Shackle Breaker, I'm really enjoying that. Wanted to share this build with you because I've been playing it a good bit recently and I've been finding the most success with it after trying really hard to get away from spend to win, but also find a build that I think, you know, allows you to be... Um, you know, competent solo and competent in a group. That's why I've settled on this. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hope you enjoy this build. Again, I think it's just it's just a nice, well-rounded, high-stat build. Peace.